I'm addicted to estrogen. I'm in withdrawal from estrogen, the toxin I assimilated, which has made me a baby maker, is stopping. I have one good week a month, one normal week, when I am not receiving spurts of my drug or withdrawing. One week, which is the long-term goal of sobriety from estrogen. One week, I am normal. Then there's manic week. This is a fucking great week. This is the week. I clean the grout between the bathroom tiles with the toothbrush, and I won't stop till it looks good. I am exhausted, and the hip-hop song in my head stops, which it never does. So I go outside at night with a flashlight and a can of spider killer to spray all the black widows in all the nooks and crannies of my highly mortgaged house, and I will not come in when my husband calls. He's going to bed. Fine, because I can't sleep until I have some Merlot. And Shouty steps going low, low, low in my head. That song is the soundtrack to my life this week. So, I told my girlfriend Tracy, I get in the car, and I am looking for a store that carries Ben and Jerry's cinnamon bun ice cream. I'm at the second store that does not have it. These stores are in my neighborhood, for God's sakes. They need to carry what the local clientele wants. This is the second month they do not have Ben and Jerry's cinnamon bun ice cream. And no, Dryer's Plain cinnamon ice cream won't do. But overall, I don't give a shit. I don't care. I finally don't care. This is the time of life. I will just wear the fucking hat. I don't care. I don't care what people think. This is the best part. I mean, don't get me wrong. It's not that I don't feel old. My skin's getting bad. It, it's got barnacles on it. it. I have new freckles that are red. My grandma was covered in them. I used to call them grandma freckles. But see, this is... This is the best part, because I finally now know I'm actually going to get old. <laughs> There's not a lot of time to have fun left. So, I just wear the fucking hat. I'm finally the teenager I never was.